Hello everyone. This video was uh, prompted because Orbis, uh, famous for the future, a client and a nonprofit of ours, um, had a question about adding a gallery to uh, his website. So really quick, Orbis, this is for you, but everyone else, if you want to learn how to add a gallery of photos uh, or an image gallery to any one of your pages, this is how you do it. So in short, as with every Spark site, go ahead and go to your login page. Enter in your username and password, log in. Uh, once you're in, go to the page that you're trying to edit. And I believe this is the page that Orbis is working on, so we're gonna click into it. <clears throat> once it loads. Then go ahead and click Use the Visual Builder. And once you have your screen built here, uh, you'll want to basically know where you're gonna want your galleries, but look at the gray bar with the plus button. Remember, if you're adding a module, you hit the gray plus button. Type in gallery. And then just add your images. Notice the checks, the checks, the checks. Four, five, select. It will add your images. Now these images are loading very slowly, so I'm willing to bet these images are too large and haven't been optimized. Remember, before you upload an image to your website, you want it shrunk down to 72 DPI and about a couple hundred pixels wide and uh, maybe a couple hundred pixels uh, high. Let's just take a look, see, again. it's taking a second because I assume these images are rather large. Okay, then you just set how many you want, and it will change. Let's see, it wants images five. Let's actually set it to three. Let's see what that does. Great, and then you've got some pagination here. And then you just click through the elements and decide, do I want a title or no title? Do I want to show the pagination or don't show the pagination? Uh, and you have tons of options on designing like this layout says grid uh, and thumbnail grid. We could set it to be a slider, but let's leave it at grid. Uh, and then landscape portrait, we'll leave it at landscape. And boom, you've got an image gallery. So Orbis, I hope this gave you direction on what you need, but you've got an image gallery. You play with the image settings from there. Again, you just click the settings button and you get super slow. So the first thing I would definitely do here is re-edit these images uh, so that they were smaller. But you get the idea, then once you click that settings box, you can edit all the settings you need right there. That's how you added a gallery module to your website wherever you need, and you're off to the races. Thanks so much, guys. If you have any questions, just like Gorbis, feel free to ask, and we'll get them answered here.